I want to invite you to download our free app and find out for yourself why personal trainers are loving it. You can download it at the App Store or on Google Play. There are 365 workouts on this app, so that's one workout for every day of the year. The workouts come in all levels, and you can see the level on the app. You can also see what equipment you're going to need. The workouts are really inexhaustible. They're also filmed in beautiful locations like this. And did I mention it's free? That's the best part. Go to the App Store or Google Play today and check it out. Welcome back to another episode of Gym Run. My name is Caitlin Wheeler and today I'm going to walk you through our advanced ab challenge. I love abs. That's one of the most important body parts that you want to work. Supporting the spine, helping with your daily activity and getting that flat stomach and six pack that we all want. So I'm warmed up, ready to go. How about you guys? Let's grab our mats, come on down to the floor. We're going to start with our seated knee tuck. So leaning back, fingers are forward. You're stretching the legs all the way out pulling them into the chest, stretching them out, pulling in. Good, really pulling the belly button back into the spine. Good, you guys, how does that feel? All right, let's start our 15 reps here. Here we go, stretching it out. Really engaging that belly button as you pull the knees in, breathing out as you pull the knees in. Good, if this is a little too difficult, you don't have to stretch the knees all the way. We've got five more here, you guys. Last four, three, two, and one. Good job, let's stretch the legs out, shake the legs. You might feel a little bit in those hips, so stretch it forward. Take a nice stretch here, take a deep breath. Good. Awesome, you guys. Back into the same position. We're gonna do our leg circles. Now you've got 30 leg circles here, 15 one direction and 15 the other direction. So we're lifting our legs up nice and straight, taking them over to the left, full circle up, down and up. Good. Let's try a few just to the right, pulling that belly button all the way back to the spine, balancing on the hands. All right, you guys, here we go. 15 to the left, taking it down. Again, really engaging that belly button and pulling it into the spine. Good, breathing. Again, if you feel this a little too much in your hips, bend the knees. It'll take a little of the tension off the hips. Keep pulling that belly button in. Five more, five, Four, three, pull the belly button in. Two, and one, good. Shake it out, we're gonna go straight into that right side. So again, leaning back, legs are out, here we go. 15. Use the breath. Good, you guys, keep breathing, keep pulling that belly in. You've got five more, four, Three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Take a stretch on the hips, bring the feet together, press the right knee down to the ground. Stretching out those hips. Over to the left side, pressing it down. Good, we're gonna move into our X sit up. So our legs are out in front of us. We've got a gap between our feet, laying straight down onto our backs. Now we're stretching our arms over our head. We're reaching up and going over. So opposite arm to opposite foot. Right arm to left foot. Good, we're gonna do 24 here. So 12 on each side. Here we go, left arm comes up. Good, breathing, really using that core to pull you up. Use the momentum in the arms as well to help. Reaching up and over, using those lower abdominals 
and working through the obliques. You've got five more here. Last four, three, two, last one. Good, laying straight back down, moving into the other side. Here we go, right arm up, 12 on this side. Go, don't forget to breathe. Exhale on the way up. Five more, four, three, two, and last one. Good job, you guys. Laying back down on the mat, stretch the arms overhead, take a long, nice stretch here. Shake out the legs if you feel it in the hips a little. All right, you guys, perfect. Now we're gonna move into our sit-up with double twists. So bringing the knees up, feet flat, you're gonna lift the body up and punch to either side. And down, up, to either side. Good, so we've got 24 reps here. Here we go. Up, twist and twist. So you're really using those obliques, using the lower abdominals. Nice and strong on those punches. Trying to keep those heels connected to the ground each time you come up. Good, last five here, you guys. Really twisting, four more. Last three, two, you got it. Last one, twist, good. Back to that long stretch. Should feel your entire abdominals working. Take a deep breath in, reach up. And exhale. All right, you guys, one last breath here. Breathe in, stretch out those abdominals. Good, now we're moving into our scissor kick. So place your hands underneath your glutes on the ground. Stretch the legs out nice and straight. Lift the right leg high. So you wanna change the legs. And scissor, and scissor. Good, so we've got 30 reps here. So stretching the legs, here we go. Breathing, pulling the belly button close to the ground. Keeping those legs as straight as you can. If that's a little difficult, you can add a bend to the legs. Good, and try not to touch the ground. Keep that bottom leg off the ground. If you want more of a challenge, lift the head up and really engage the top of the abdominals there. Good, five more. Last four, three, two, and one, good. Take a nice stretch overhead. Good. Good, so moving into our butterfly abs. So we're turning our knees out down to the ground, heels are together, hands are behind the head, at the bottom of the head. We're gonna lift everything up, squeeze and down. So feet come off, elbows come off, head and neck come off and down. Good, so we're gonna do 20 reps here. Here we go, breathing. So exhaling as you come up and down. The goal is to really get those shoulders off the ground. You're using every single part of your abdominals here. From the very top all the way to the bottom you're in your transverse abdominals. Good, breathing. If this becomes a little challenging, keep the shoulders down and just activate the legs. Good, five more here. Last four, three, two, last one. Good, relax the legs, let them fall to the side, reach the arms ahead. All right, you guys, we're gonna move into our sit up with the side. So moving our knees, dropping them over to the right side, we're gonna crunch up on the left, lifting both shoulders off the ground. Squeezing and lifting, good. We have 24 here, so here we go. Take it up. Should feel this nice and strong in that left oblique. Good, so remembering we're pulling the belly button back to the spine, really trying to get both those shoulders off the ground Five more, four, 
three, last two, and one. Good, take the knees up. Let's take it over to the other side. So working that right oblique, here we go. Up. Good, making sure you're keeping space underneath the chin so there's not tension in the neck. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Reach the arms overhead. Just drop the knees side to side, stretching out through those obliques. Excellent job. All right, you guys, we're gonna move straight into our crunch with our heel tap. So arms reach forward. You're gonna crunch the upper body up, lift the legs, and take the right leg down, tap the ground, and relax. Up, right leg tap, and down. Good, so you've got 12 here on the right leg. Here we go. Take it up, and down. Making sure the back is staying nice and flat. Pull that belly button into the spine. And the goal here is to really crunch up and get those shoulders off the ground. Good, keep breathing here. You're almost there you guys, last five. Good, four. Three more. Last two, breathe, exhale. Last one. Good, relax down. Moving straight into our left leg. Here we go, take it up. Stretch and down. Now if this gets a little challenging and taxing on your neck, feel free to grab your hands behind your neck. Take a little of the tension off. You've got five more. Four. Last three. Two. Last one, good, nice work you guys. Stretch it out again above. Take the hands behind the neck and just lift the neck up. Take a gentle stretch behind the neck. We're gonna move into our half circle. So coming up onto our hands, leaning back, stretching the legs out in front of you. If you want it more difficult, lift the legs all the way up and then take them down into the middle. So we're doing a circle down, just a half circle, other way. Good, so we've got 30 here. Here we go, you guys, stretch out in front. Breathe. Pulling the belly button into the spine. Again, if it's a little challenging, bend those knees. Good, keep breathing, use that exhale. We've got 10 more, you guys, breathe. Last seven here, almost done, you can do it. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, you guys. Relax the body forward, stretch out those hips. Good. Coming up, we're moving into our slow boat. So laying all the way down on the ground, arms out, stretch them over your head. Now you're gonna come up, reach the arms down, and balance in your boat position. And down. One more practice here, all the way up, and down. Good, so we're gonna do uh, 15 repetitions right here. Here we go, take it up. And down. Use that exhale. This one can be challenging, I know. If you need to modify, come up to bent knees and grab behind the knees. That will help you balance a little more. Good, breathe. Last five here. Four. Three. Last two. All the way up, last one. 
Oh, good job, you guys. Shake it out. Whew. That's a tough one. Good. Shake the legs out. Shake the neck. Good. Moving into our crunch and twist with our leg drop pulse. So the legs are up, stretching both legs up. Arms come together. We're going to lean over towards that right leg. Take that left leg down and up. Down and up. So you want to make sure the shoulders are lifted off the ground. We're going to do 15 with the left leg working. Here we go. Take it down and up, pulling the belly button into the ground. Keeping both legs straight and really reaching that left shoulder off the ground. Good. Exhale as the leg goes down. Keep breathing, you guys. Almost there. Last five here. Last four. Three. Shoulders off. Two. And one. Good. Hug the knees into the chest. Move straight into that right leg. Both legs up. Arms together towards the left. Drop that right leg. Here we go. Fifteen. Keep activating those abdominals, pulling them nice and tight. Really working through that core. Good, breathe. Five more. Last four, here we go. Three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Good, lifting up, stretch the neck. Hug the knees into the chest. Excellent work, you guys. All right, we're coming up. Now we're gonna flip over onto our stomachs. So laying down on the mat, nice and flat. Arms reach out to the side in a T. We're gonna work our right leg with our hamstring curl with twist. 15 on the right leg. We're taking it up, touch the ground, and come back down. One more time, up, touch the ground, and down. All right, here we go, 15. Really twisting in that core, working those obliques. Try and point that knee up to the sky. Keep the core nice and tight. Don't let the stomach relax. Good job. Breathe, you're almost there. Last five here. Four more. All the way up and over for three, two, last one, make it count. Good, relaxing down. Let's repeat the same thing with that left leg, up and over. 15 times, here we go. Core stays nice and engaged. Keeping that bottom leg nice and straight. Working that top left leg. Good, breathe you guys. Five more here. That's four, three, two more. Last one. Good, relax it down, shaking the legs out. Take a deep breath. Good, coming up. Bringing the legs out in front of you this time. Moving into our boat with chest press. So we're leaning back. The legs are gonna be nice and extended out in front. Keeping them there, we're pressing the hands away. From the chest, stretch them out. One more time, and down. Good, you guys, so we have 24 here. Here we go. Press, <sighs> breathe. Pull the belly button in nice and tight. If this gets a little difficult, bend those knees. Find that balance. Really stretch and press. Good. Breathe. Keep that core engaged for five, four, three, two, and one. Laying down, reach the arms above your head, stretch it out. Shake the legs, relax those hips. Great work, you guys. 
Excellent. Excellent work, you guys. So now we're moving into our butterfly abs with twists. So just working the left side, you're gonna crunch all the way up, twist to the side. Now you wanna keep the feet off the ground. Tap back down, up and twist. Good, so we're gonna do 12 on this side. Here we go. Take it up and down. Keep those abs engaged. Belly button down to the spine. Breathe, last five, four, three, last two, and one. Good, stretch it out. I know that's one, a tough one to balance. Good job. All right, here we go on the other side. So twisting towards the right. Take it up and twist. 12 here. Breathe, use that exhale on the way up. Five more, you guys, you can do it. Last four. Three. Last two. And one, good. Stretch it out, shake the legs. Good, excellent job. So opening the legs out this time, heels are together, arms start over the head. We're coming up into our diamond sit-ups. So reaching all the way up, forward, tapping the ground in front of the feet, and down, up, and tap. Perfect, so we're gonna do 24 of these here. Here we go, up, breathe, use that exhale on the way out, try and keep those feet nice and flat, I know it's tough, breathe you guys. Keep using that exhale. Up, pull it up. Last five. Whoo, four. You can do it, guys. Come on. Three. And one, good job, relax over, press those knees out. All right, coming out of that stretch, you guys. Coming up onto our hands and knees, we're moving into our side plank with kick through. So left arm is down, balancing on that right leg. You're gonna kick that left foot forward and back. One more time, forward and back. Good, we've got 10 reps here, pushing up. Engage the lats and the obliques, here we go. Breathe. Good job, you guys. Last five here. Four, three, last two, last one. Good, excellent job. Switching over, so coming onto our right hands, our left leg goes straight, push those hips up, kick that right foot forward and back. Good, we're working our entire body in this position. Really engaging that core. Last five here. For four. Three. Last two. And one. Excellent job, you guys. Let's take a child's pose just to stretch underneath those arms. Good, take a deep breath in here. Reach those arms forward. Now we're gonna come down onto our elbows and move into our plank with extension. So we're extending our feet out, flat line through the body. You wanna lift that left arm off. We're lifting the right leg up and down, up and down. So we're balancing the entire time in a flat line. We're gonna do 
15 with that right leg. Here we go, left arm up. Breathe, keep the hips down, belly button in. Good job, you guys, keep breathing. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Coming onto the other side. So reaching our right arm forward, we're gonna lift that left leg 15 times. Here we go. Good, work for that balance, belly button in. Nice and engaged. Last five, four, three, two, and one. There it is, you guys. We're gonna move into our scissor kicks. So place your hands underneath your lower back for a little support. The legs are going straight up. This time we're taking them down, small flutters. All the way down, don't touch the ground, and all the way up. Good, we're gonna do this 10 times. Here we go, down, engage those abdominals and up. Breathe out on the way down. Pull the belly button into the spine. Good, you guys. Again, if you want slightly more of a challenge, lift the neck up to engage the top of the abs. We've got five more here. Last four. Three. One more time. And relax, excellent. Stretch those arms above your head. Lengthen out. Good job, you guys. Okay, coming up, we're gonna fold our mats in half, just so we've got a little more support on our lumbar spine. Taking a seat on that mat, we're gonna move into our three-way frog in and out. So resting back on the hands, feet are together. We're gonna press them out to the left, back in, center, and the right side. One more time. Good, so we're gonna do 30 of these in total. Here we go. Good, and back. Good, keeping that core nice and tight. Good, breathe. Good, use those arms for support. We've got 10 more here. Good, last six. Good, one more time. And relax, you guys. Open those knees, stretch those hips. Press that right knee down. Good, changing over to the left. Good. So let's open those mats back out and lay down on our backs. And we're gonna move into our frog reverse crunch. So same position as we just had of the feet. Heels are together, knees are open, hands are behind the back. We're gonna crunch and lift everything in together. So heels and knees come up. Good, one more time. Excellent. So we're gonna do 24 here, here we go. Spine is nice and flat on the ground, working the lower abdominals. Good, lifting those shoulders all the way off the ground. Connect those elbows to the knees. Breathe, exhale on the way up. <sighs> lifting those shoulders up even higher every time. Really tightening through the core. Last five here, you guys. Here we go for four. Squeeze, pull everything up. Last two. And one, good job, shake those legs. Now you definitely feel that in those hips as well as through the lower abdominals. Good, reaching up, 
stretch behind the neck, pull the chin into the chest. Excellent, so we're coming up onto our elbows this time. Leaning back, we're gonna bend the left foot, keep that right leg straight. We're gonna go into our one-legged lift. So we're just lifting the right leg up and down, up and down. We're gonna do 12 either side. Here we go, take it up. Try not to let that foot touch the bottom of the floor as it goes down. You wanna keep it about one to two inches off the ground to keep those abdominals activated. Breathe out, five more, last four, three, two, and one. Place that foot down, let's go straight into that left side. Take it down, two inches off the ground. Pulling those abdominals in, use that exhale. Good, stay nice and lifted in the chest. Last five here for four, three, last two, and one. Excellent, coming up. Let's hug those knees into the chest. Great work so far, you guys. Perfect, so laying down on our back, extending that right leg up. This time the left hand is gonna reach all the way up to that toe and down. Reaching up and down. You're gonna do 15 on this side. Here we go, take it up. Really press through that foot, that left foot that's planted into the ground. Use that for support. Try and get both shoulders off the ground. Keep reaching for that toe. Breathe as you go up, exhale. Last five here for four, three, two, and one. Good, changing sides right away. Left leg up, right arm reaches to that toe. Good, really feel those abs starting to burn. Really working through that core. Keep pressing that left foot to the ceiling all the way up. Excellent job, you guys. Almost done, breathe. Last five here. You've got four. Shoulders up. Last two. And one, good, hug the knees into the chest. Make small circles, massage out those hips into your lower back. Good, change directions. Good, perfect, coming back up onto our mats. Let's turn sideways onto our mat, taking the left elbow down. We're gonna move into our side plank with the hip dip. The right foot bends over the top. Left foot is straight underneath. Hips are lifted all the way up. You're gonna tap the hip down and up. One more time, down and up. Good, we're gonna do 12 here. Here we go. And press. Now we're engaging all the way through our side obliques on these. Keeping the core nice and tight. Stabilizing through that left side of the body. Five more. Last four. Three, try and press those hips all the way up a little higher for two and one. Good, relaxing down. Moving the feet over to the other side. So the left foot is coming up and over. Stretch the right onto our elbow. Hips come up. Here we go, take it down and up. Good. Breathe, press those hips up all the way. Here we go, you guys. Five more for four, three, two, push a little higher, and one. Excellent. Moving into our last exercise, onto our back. We're going into our dragonfly. So we're gonna squeeze the knees together, hands press down. We're gonna lift our hips up and tap the feet down. Squeeze and down. So the knees are coming all the way in towards the face. We're gonna do, uh, let's do 15 here. Here we go. 
Really activating through the lower abdominals. Good. If you feel too much pressure on your neck, just don't roll that far over. Just a little tuck. You're still gonna feel it in the lower abdominals. It's quite an advanced move, so you wanna work up to this one. You've got five left, you guys. Finish strong for four. Tap those feet. Three. Squeeze. Last two. And one. Excellent. Take one more stretch overhead. Woo, you should feel those abdominals nice and tight. Let's take one last stretch. So coming up, laying on our stomachs. We wanna press those hips down. Lift that chest up, stretch through the front of the abdominals. Take a look up to the ceiling. Good job. Excellent work today, you guys. Hopefully you feel nice and strong through that core, nice and supported, working on that summer six pack. Remember, stay hydrated, stretch out tomorrow, and I'll see you next time. Welcome to our weight loss challenges. This is a fun, easy, and effective way to lose weight and keep it off, guaranteed. Diet alone doesn't work and exercise alone doesn't work. You have to combine the two and our nutritionists have found a proven way to help you achieve your goals. The weight loss challenges are 21 days long and you get so many benefits by joining. You get diet and nutrition tips, you get meal plans, grocery lists, a community of support, access to so many workouts. You also get three months free membership at gymra.com, which includes access to 600 workouts by some of the best trainers in the world. 50 programs that would take you over six years to complete, so you're never gonna get bored. You have to join one of these challenges today. You can also win money, which is the best part, so don't forget about that. <laughs>